BIS is the national standard body of India established under the BIS Act 2016 for the harmonious development of the activities of standardization, marking and quality certification of goods. BIS has been providing traceable and tangible benefits to the national economy in a number of ways. Providing safe, reliable quality goods. Minimizing health hazard to consumers. Promoting exports and import substitutes and controlling the proliferation of varieties etc. through standardization, certification and testing. BIS mark on a product is an assurance of safety of the product. As per required by the BIS standard specification, BIS schemes provides confidence to consumers about quality, reliability of product and ensures customer safety. Today, there are more than 29 crore active consumers of LPG in India whose primary cooking fuel is LPG only. This number is 10 times the population of many other countries. To ensure their safety and demands, BIS plays an important role in standardizing the manufacturing of LPG cylinder. A full gas connection system includes cylinder, regulator, hose pipe, gas stove, the quality of each product is essential for the safety of consumers. 2013 welded low carbon steel cylinder exceeding 5 litre water capacity for low pressure liquefied gas. To check how BIS ensures your safety in the manufacturing of LPG cylinder, valves and gas regulator, we are going to show you the whole manufacturing process in this video. Before knowing the process, let's know about the part of LPG cylinders essential for the complete product. It includes two halves which are carefully welded circumferentially to provide a safe, reliable and leak-proof shell body. The top half is welded with a bung to fit a valve to protect this valve from impacts during transportation and handle them easily. VPR or valve protection ring is welded on the upper half. Similarly, to protect the shell from direct impact with the ground and to give balance, foot ring is welded in the lower half of the cylinder. We are at the first stage, that is, the raw material. The raw material used to make LPG cylinders are hot rod steel sheets. These steel has to be BIS certified as per Indian standard 6240. These sheets are specially produced for the manufacturing of LPG cylinders as per Indian standard 6240. IS 6240 prescribes its mechanical parameters and the strength to ensure its suitability for the manufacturing of quality LPG cylinders. In these rotary shearing machines, the coils are cut in circles and moved to the next stage to cool and moved to this hydraulic press. Drawing and molding gives them a domed shaped deep cup of the required size. The next step is joggling and trimming stage. Here, the excess edge is trimmed to the required size. One out of every two halves is sent for the joggling and the other for only the trimming process. Joggling process helps the one half to get over the another to fit properly. Now, with the help of this mechanical press, each joggled half is pierced for the hole at the center for bung. Bung shall be made from steel, conforming to Indian Standard 1875 or Indian Standard 2062. All the halves after joggling and trimming operation get another touch for finesse before it is thoroughly cleaned with soap water. This is called the degreasing process. Every half is carefully checked in case it has any crack, dent or any other deformation. If there is any defect, then that half is instantly discarded and the cause is identified with strict measures. The halves which are not having holes in the bottom are taken for foot welding operation in which foot rings are welded with the help of automatic welding machines. Foot rings shall be made from steel conforming to IS 1079 or IS 2062 or IS 6240. Time for inspection 
every half is a game checked for pinholes, undercuts, burnout and non-uniform beat. Once an inspector ensured that all dimensions are proper, it is taken to the next stage. Meanwhile, the other half having hole in the center is taken for bung welding. This procedure is done with two layer welding from outside with MIG argon gas. The bung welding is closely inspected in case of any burnout, undercuts, under or overbeat, gas holes, spatters, thread damages or lack of penetration. Now, both the halves, the top with the bung and the bottom with the foot ring are assembled carefully with the help of a pneumatic fixture. After the buffing, they are welded from the circumferential joints in the automatic MIG Arkin gas welding machine. The circumferential welding is the most crucial part of the manufacturing of LPG cylinders and it needs a very precise infection for burnouts under or over beads, craters, gas holes, spatters, wavy bead, lack of penetration, undercuts and are closely checked. Simultaneously, valve protection rings that are made of MS black pipe are welded with equidistance vertical stay plates. Stay plates shall be made from steel conforming to IS1079 or IS2061 or IS6240. Number punching is done on the stay plates like batch number and serial number of the cylinder. Then these wall protection ring assemblies are mounted on the cylinder concentric with the bung and the vertical stays are welded on both sides to the body of the cylinder with help of the fixtures. The serial number of the cylinder is also punched on the bung. After that, cylinders are serially loaded batch-wise into a furnace to relieve the stress which are developed during cold working and welding. The temperature is maintained at 660 to 700 degrees Celsius. This process is called heat treatment. This is also an essential process which provides the required mechanical strength to the cylinder. After cooling, these cylinders are sent through a grit blasting cabinet to remove external scale, dirts, chip skins etc. from the entire surface of cylinder and to provide a surface finish of SA 2.5 grade as per IS 9954. Now each and every cylinder will undergo hydrostatic testing. Here the quality of welds of the cylinder is checked by filling water at high pressure and held for 30 seconds. Every cylinder is checked for leaks, sheet cracks or any other defects. If any leak are observed, the cylinders are rejected. Cylinders passing the hydrostatic test are first coated with zinc to prevent rusting. Zinc wire used for it confirms IS12447. Then they are coated with zinc phosphate and red oxide primer conforming to IS12744. And final coating of the cylinder is done with signal paint as per required by the company for domestic and commercial cylinders that is blue for commercial and red for domestic usage. After the paint is dried, each cylinder is thoroughly cleaned internally to remove water, dust or any foreign particle. Now the logo safety slogan, tier weight, net weight, gross weight, retesting color code and screen are screen printed on each cylinder as per the requirements of the oil company. Then the tear weight of cylinders is checked on the platform wing machine. The cylinders are fixed with brass valves confirming to IS8737. But how these brass valves are made? Let's check. The valves are manufactured in a separate plant by their skilled labors. To make a brass valve, long brass solid rods are used as draw material. These rods are cut into small pieces of length of 60 mm and diameter of 25 mm. These small pieces are now heat treated for 30 to 40 minutes at 700 degrees Celsius in a furnace to give them strength and then sent for the forging process. 
in which it forms the hexagonal shape in the outer ring and gets drilled in metal. To remove extra metal, trimming process is done in which extra brass portions are removed. After the trimming process, the heat treated brass pieces are now sent for the short blasting process in which all the dirt and blackness is removed and the vaults get a regular and shiny surface. Now is the time to give a shape to these brass pieces which we see in our household cylinders. This process is done by these super fast and precise machines called automatic CNC machines. In this process, these brass rods are kept inside the CNC machine and then are chipped from the upper and lower end of the valve which is the upper side of the regulator fittings and the lower side is for fitting valve with the cylinders. These super shiny brass valves are now taken for assembly in which different elements are added to each value to make it a fit for use. These assembly lines are controlled manually by human hands with perfection. Each worker adds their skill set to the valve and passes it to the next worker in line. Before assembly, a set of worker check each valve for the outlet connection dimension check. Now, they are ready for the assembly process which includes joint packing fitting, spindle fitting, adjusting screw fitting and inlet connection dimension check of the valve. Once the valve has been assembled, it will now be taken for visual checkup. And now, the inspection process will take place which includes soundness test, low and high pressure test. Upon completion of the inspection process, the final elements are added to valve, adjusting screw locking, stamping on valve hex and then soundness testing after stamping. Now, few more randomly selected valves from the batch are taken for the lab test. Here, they check it for tensile strength, elongation, projection, now, the batch is visually inspected for the final time and thread caps are added on valve. Once the valve passes all the inspection and lab test, the batch is ready for BIS inspection and then sent to cylinder companies after packing. After wall fixing, all the cylinders are filled with air pressure and immersed in water for a particular interval of time. This test is called pneumatic test. In this process, each cylinder is checked for leaks just like tire punctures are checked. Now, cylinders are ready in stacks and ready for the BIS inspection before being dispatched. During this lot inspection, BIS officer does the audit of each manufacturing process. Cylinders from every batch are randomly selected by the BIS officer for conducting acceptance tests or AT, burst test or BT and for checking pneumatic leakage, test wall fixing at specific torque, total minimum combined coating thickness and markings. As a part of acceptance test, different pieces are cut from the cylinder for carrying out tensile test of the weld pieces. Tensile test of the parent material pieces, bend test, micro examination and minimum thickness. Dial distance, tensile strength and elongation of the test pieces are the critical parameter tested in factory during the inspections. BIS also conducted brush test in which cylinder are filled with water and the pressure inside the cylinder is gradually built up till the cylinder brush. The percentage of volumetric expansion and the brush pressure of the cylinder are critical parameter for deciding the result of the test. Tightness of the LPG wall fitted is ensured by doing the torque test. Once the cylinder pass all the tests during the load inspection, BIS give clearance to all such batches by issuing test certificate to the manufacturers. Thereafter, cylinders are dispatched to the oil companies for LBJ filling and then to households. We need an IS marked gas regulator to use these cylinders for household purposes. These regulators are manufactured in a separate plant and supplied to consumers directly. Let's take a look at how it is made. 
gas regulator body and cover are made either by die casting or forging. The metal is usually a zinc alloy which is melted in the furnace of the die casting chamber at 410 to 420 degrees Celsius. The molten mixture known as a casting is then forced by a plunger through a nozzle into two dies or molds which have been clamped together in these giant casting machines. A skilled set individual is then assigned and he then deattaches the module body from the extra inner metal and we get the individual metal bodies of the exact proportionate size and design. Casted bodies will now be taken for the machining procedure and then will be moved into the filing process. During this process, the required holes are made for the gas flow and filing for removing extra metal. Now, these casted pieces will be taken for the cleaning and painting process. Once all the pieces have been cleaned and painted, it's time for the assembly process. The assembly process is a series of specific jobs starting with jet machining. In this process, we make a particular hole in the casted body which is responsible for controlling the flow of the gas. Next process is liver crimping in which a rubber diagram is attached in the casted body with the help of a small metal pen connected to the holes as made in the previous process. This rubber diagram makes sure the leakage proof flow of gas while in on or off position. And now, the casted metal piece is covered by plastic body cover fittings and sent for the riveting and punching process in which the rivets are punched or attached with the help of a hydraulic press machine into the regulator. A senior worker will now check these regulators for riveting, diagram or body leakages. This process is called a soundness test. Now knob and fitters for the on and off system of the regulator is attached and sent for the washer, spring, bush and ball assembly. These elements make sure the regulator work leak proof and fits perfectly over the cylinder valve. A knob is fixed in the end to keep the ball in place. Now these assembled regulators will go through the performance setting table in which different tests are conducted on each and every regulator. This includes pneumatic test and off position test. Once the tests have been conducted, the regulators are taken for marking, batch number marking and serial number stamping. Upon completion of this process, the assembly section is then completed with the final soundness test and visual inspection. Few randomly selected regulators are taken for lab test. A senior worker will check for the advanced parameters before sending the batch for packing. These tests include hydrostatic test, cycle test, mechanical test, high and low temperature test, etc. On passing all these tests, the batch is ready for the BIS inspection and thus for packing and dispatch.